Hey guys, it's Justin and Alicia. And this week we were triple dog dared by the Zab family to do the Not My Arms Challenge. They are a YouTube family from Canada and we've gotten to know them a lot through their videos and also through Instagram. Their family's so sweet. They're and awesome. you should totally go check them out. Their version of this was hilarious and we will link it down below because I have watched it several times. It yeah, was so she funny. knew we both laughed. They made pizza and it was it was hilarious. So we've got big shoes to fill with this. Video. But nonetheless, we do not back down from a triple dog dare. Oh no. <laughs> so they're from Canada. They made pizza. We are from Texas. So we're going to make some Tex-Mex sort of. We're going to make some nachos <laughs> and some homemade hot sauce. Some of you may know that it is salsa, but we call it hot sauce down here. Here we go. Hello everybody. Welcome to Texas. We're going to make you some Tex-Mex nachos. Here we go. First, you got to preheat the oven, which we've already done over there. We preheated it to 400 degrees. That's four zero zero degrees. You can put it on bake. First thing you do, you get a non-stick cookie sheet, which we have here. I'm guessing it's a nine by 13 or something like that, or maybe 20 by 30. I don't know. I, mean, I really don't have a clue. What we're gonna do is get some tortilla chips which are not on the left side, they're actually on the right side over here. We all know how I just love making messes. We just kind of dump them out on the pan, spread them out. We might get a little bit more on there. I just like to make sure that the whole pan is covered. All right, next what we like to do is freshly grated cheese. I just like to get a handful of cheese and throw it, <laughs> oh my goodness, throw it on there, yes. Oh, you know how much I love messes, and it just, oh, <laughs> and cheese, apparently. I think we probably need a little bit more on there at the top right part. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, just drop it down. Oh yeah, maybe the bottom left side of the pan also, uh, bottom, bottom right, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just like to tell myself left and right just to make sure I'm on my A game. Just like that, I would just drop it straight down. Perfect. After we got that done, now we like to put something on that's a little bit different than most people. We like to put some black beans on our nachos. So the black beans I have right over to my left. <laughs> uh, I like to get a handful of those too and I'm sure I'm probably gonna make that mess just like I always do and throw it up at me and I just enjoy that kind of thing. I like to spread those all out. Sometimes I like to do the top first and the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but I um, now I like to squish beans on my beard and eat them, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, love it. I think we might put a little bit more on there. Just spread them out, drop them. Typically, what we would like to do is put on some corn also. However, we don't have any corn, we're out. So we're just gonna go with this right now. We're gonna pop it in the oven for maybe 20 minutes and give or take, and we will pull it out when it is finished and eat it with our homemade hot sauce that we're gonna make next. While this is in the oven, we're gonna get started on the hot sauce. Hello! Now we are back. We got the nachos in the oven. We're gonna check them in a few minutes, but first we wanted to talk about how we make our hot sauce. I'll just go through some of the ingredients. We got some jalapenos. We use more juices of jalapenos than actual jalapenos. We also have some lemon juice some black pepper, and some garlic salt, okay? Sometimes it falls over and you just gotta really reach up there and find it, yep. All right, we also have to cut up some green onions and some tomatoes. And because I trust myself so much, I think, I, you know, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and cut these right now and just really get in there and Just kidding, we're not gonna do that. That would be very dangerous. Even if you're an adult like me with very pale arms, it doesn't matter. You still cannot use knives at home. So what we did do is we cut up our Roma tomatoes. We already got out the jalapenos with the juice and we cut off the white bulb on the green onions over here. <laughs> we also have the food processor right here to the right. It just happens to be the Bimford 6100. All of you guys are like, home improvement back in the day. They probably all were like, oh yeah, Denver 6100, more power. Oh. We're gonna put the tomatoes in first. What I like to do is grab it, and then I kind of come over here to the Benford 6100 food processor, and I just dump it in. 
simple. Now I'm gonna get the other ingredients, dump them right in there, and then I go to the green onions. And I just like to dump those in also. Yep, just like that. And you might have to swap your little finger in there to get all those out. Sometimes when stuff's wet, it sticks to the glass. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a little lemon juice, which is up here in front on the left side. Yep, right there. Once I have the lemon juice, oh, first of all, you don't want to squeeze it straight up, then it would get in somebody's face. Probably mine. There's no real measurement. Maybe a little bit more. I like, there we go. Now I'm gonna save the actual salt and pepper until it's processed up. Let's grab a little bit of garlic salt. Right there. Okay. Yeah, right there. All right, we got it. All right, got the garlic salt. Let's pour a little bit in there. There we go. That's a good little sprinkle. Now, just put the lid on the bin for 6100. Which is over here. Put that on, and what you gotta do is get it on there perfect and twist it. Sometimes it's really difficult. But for me, a professional, yeah. So let's push it. processor. Sometimes I like to dance when we're processing food just to keep the uh, energy in the room. So while I'm dancing I also like to do random dances. We like to do the Macarena at our house. One Macarena, 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 two Macarena. I don't know the words of this song. Three Macarena, 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 <laughs> and Macarena. I well, one of Macarena, 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 two of Macarena. I don't know the words of this song. Three Macarena, Macarena. What you gotta do is take the lid off and take the bowl off also. Now, it's very important that you don't wanna spill. Gently pour, and pour, and pour. Tip a little more, shake it a little bit, shake it a little bit, shake, 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 shake. Good. This is important. You don't want to mix it while it's in the food processor and then mix it with the processor over and over and over because then it gets really uh, less chunky every time. And we like it a little bit of chunky. Now we're going to put in the pepper. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit on. Very good. Let's mix in a little bit more lemon juice. It's right in front. Squeeze some of that. A little bit more. There we go. Come over here, get a spoon. I would use my left hand. It would probably be easier to grab a spoon. But first, we gotta check the nachos, is what we gotta do. First, we gotta check the nachos. We'll be right back. Now we gotta mix it all up. To mix and mix and mix and mix. A little bit more mixing, and there we go. Good? Very, oh. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. I'm gonna say we're gonna need some more garlic salt in there. Oh, okay. Yes, that was a great idea. Let's grab some more garlic salt. We're gonna put a little bit more. You gotta take the lid off and sprinkle. Not that much sprinkle. Okay. We're gonna mix that up and get some chips. Stir and stir, stir. This is also the time that I like to dance. Keep the crowd going. Yep. This is how I dance with my arms too. Hope everyone sees how cool I am. Now I just like to tear open the top of these, grab one of the scoops out, scoop it, get a pretty good scoop. Cause I like a lot of hot sauce. Oh, oh, oh. That was a lot. All right. Mmm. Thank you so much, my arms. I think we need a little bit more garlic salt. Okay, let's try that right there. It's just kind of a trial and error thing. The spoon is still in there, so I'm gonna grab the spoon and start stirring. Get back to dancing a little bit, and that's what I do. It's my jam. I feel like I usually dance a lot cooler than this, but you know, whatever. All right, let's try some more. Maybe not as much hot sauce this time. A little bit more than that, though. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think it's safe to say that our hot sauce is done. About five minutes ago, we pulled the nachos out of the oven. But what we're gonna do now is dig in. So we got the nachos here. Oh man, those look pretty good. Oh. 
That's a good nacho. Soggy nacho at the end. Let's do one more just for fun. No, that's not it. We're going to scoop a little bit more to the, the yep, right. No. Yep, right there. That's where my hand goes. Uh, oh. Mmm. Pretty good. Well, you put my hand in my face. Yeah, a little hot there. A little hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Woo! <coughs> I think that's why they tell you not to breathe underwater. If there's enough water in your mouth and you're trying to breathe, you can't do it. Woo! I'm okay. You have been watching. Cooking in Texas with Justin and Alicia. This is all thanks to our good Canadian friends, the Zad family. Y'all be sure to go check them out. They are up north in Canada. We're down south here in Texas. And believe it or not, these aren't even my hands or my arms. These are my wife's arms. They've been the whole time. We've had a good time making this video. We hope you have fun watching it. See y'all next time. Bye. Three macarena, macarena, macarena. Hey, macarena. All right. <laughs> oh, good times.